We do a lot of crock pot recipes at this house. I usually prep earlier in the morning, right after I take my daughter to school. Today, I wanted to share with you all a balsamic roast beef recipe. So it's gonna take about 10, 15 minutes to prep, and you're gonna cook it in a slow cooker anywhere from four to six hours. So four to six hours on high, or you could do six to eight hours on low. The original recipe calls for about three pounds. I almost doubled it. I did about five because this stuff is just so good, you're gonna want leftovers of this, okay? Especially if it's cooking up that long. You don't have to fry the meat before putting it into the slow cooker. You could just do this immediately. What I did is I got four to five pounds of boneless roast beef, or you could use chuck steak. I used about a cup and a half of beef broth. I took, I, for me, I took, a, I took an onion, sliced it up, and mixed it in the bottom with the beef broth. And then I took, uh, I took a measuring cup, and in that measuring cup, I added about three-fourths cup of balsamic vinegar. I did a little over a tablespoon of honey. I did a little over a tablespoon of Worcestershire. Is that how you say that? Wor Worcesh Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Lee and parents, do about a, ta a tablespoon and a half of that. I used um, a little over a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and I got about six cloves of garlic, crushed them up, and squeezed them into, into that mix. Balsamic vinegar, your Worcestershire, you've got your red pepper flakes, your fresh garlic, honey, and soy sauce and you mix all of that up together and then you pour it over the roast beef and then you just set it, set it and forget it. It's gonna break apart and so you're gonna wanna use two forks, whatever you've got on you, just to break it apart lightly. You mix it in, keep stirring it with that sauce. When you're putting it away for your leftovers, make sure you save some of that gravy um, in a separate bag, seal it tight because that stuff is what makes this dish um, and you want all of it. You want every last drop, keep the juice. I wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys. We're gonna have it with a few sides here. Um, and bon appetit. Let me know what you think. If you try this recipe out, let me know what you think or if you made any modifications to it as well. We found this recipe from addapinch.com. The only thing I modified was I obviously added more of everything. And then um, we added onions to it. So that's it. <laughs>